Hello everyone and welcome. I am Robin Armbrecht at Really Robin Stamps and you are joining me for Paper Crafting Playdate. I go live on my Facebook page every Friday at 1 p.m. Central Time, but whether you're watching this live or you are watching this on the replay later, I am so thankful and grateful that you are here and ready to play with paper. So today is Friday, December 3rd, and this is Paper Crafting Playdate number 41. So today's project is pretty special. So it's for those special people you have in your life. We are going to create a mailable mini album and I think you're going to love this project. So I'm going to not delay and get right to it. So let me flip the camera around. And we'll get started. Right, I think we've got that done. Let's zoom in just a little bit. Welcome everyone. It's Friday. Yay, so exciting. All right, before I forget, let's just a reminder, the current mini catalog is going to be ending this month. So this is your last chance this month to get items from the mini catalog. So you want to take a look at that and make sure if there's anything on that list that you want. Um, both of these lists are on my um, blog, reallyrobinstamps.com, and you can download them. This one tells you the things that are on sale and retiring. This tells you the things that will be carrying over and still available. I have a whole video that explains all about how that works. If you haven't watched that yet, go ahead and give that a watch. All right, let's see. Hey, I found you, good deal. All right, so last chance list. If you don't know what that is, uh, just ask. Now, before I go any farther, I have to show you some very, very, very fun Thanksgiving cards. Welcome everybody. Hi, Sue. Hi, Lynn. Okay, I'm gonna try to share this. Give me a second. There we go. All right. Susan, Lynn, Judy, hey, the gang's all here. Great, let's get started. Look at these fabulous Thanksgiving cards I got. This one is from my friend Sherry in Canada. Gorgeous, this was last year's gorgeous fall paper. I love that mint in that paper, so beautiful. This one is from my friend Lorna. I love this layout. This might have to be one of my templates so I have to copy. I love this. Isn't that beautiful? This little Thanksgiving card is from my friend Marianne. Look at that cute little turkey. <laughs> Makes me so happy. So happy. And this is from my friend Cheryl in Florida. Thank you, Cheryl. That is just beautiful. Love this paper. And this one is from my friend Cindy. Look how pretty that is. Love how this turned out. That little, so beautiful. Thank you so much for blessing my mailbox with your beautiful work. I have a bunch of birthday cards to show you too, but I'm going to have to do that another time. I think I'm going to do that next week. Okay. All right, I got a sneak peek before we get started on this mini album. This is paper that is going to be available in the celebration catalog that's going to start in January. This is called Daffodil Afternoon. I just wanna give you a quick little flip through of this fun, fun little paper. It has a lot of daffodils, clearly. The name says Daffodil Afternoon. And the reason I'm showing you that is because um, my incentive for December orders, that's what the hostess code is for this month, you're going to get um, a little card kit in the mail for me with your $45 order. And you're gonna be able to make um, four full cards with this kit. So you're gonna get four four by six sheets of this gorgeous paper, brand new. The only way you can get this is 
by being a demonstrator or in January placing an order. So it's kind of special. You're going to get all the die cuts and the punches and you'll be able to whip these cards together with my simple directions. You'll get a whole little strip of these beautiful brand new little rhinestone gems that are gorgeous. So all you'll have to do is use your adhesive and add your own greetings to these. And you're going to have four little fun spring cards ready to go. So that is what the Hostess Code is for this month. Okay, let's get started on this mini album. I'm gonna give you a peek at it so you can see where we're going. All right, so this was um, an album idea that I actually created a little bit ago and I love it so much, I'm going to make it again and I tweaked my um, design a little bit. So this is made with one sheet of 12 by 12 paper and I'm gonna use um, pattern paper for this project. But here is the little mini album. It's got a little pocket in the front and it's got a little side pocket here. And then it's got a place where you can put some pictures and it, the size of it is four by six. So it's very easy to mail. So it's one of those great, great things you can do with your pattern paper and stick in the mail. So I'm going to show you how to put this together right now. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is take a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper. You can use regular cardstock as well. That is absolutely appropriate for this project. It's going to increase the um, thickness of the finished album so that you'll probably have to add extra postage or it's gonna be pretty heavy. So that's why I'm using pattern paper. So the first thing before you start to cut and score this piece is you're going to want to just decide or look if your paper has any patterns that are only in one direction. And if that's the case, then you want them to be um, vertical when you start to do this process, okay? My paper really doesn't. My paper is pretty generic. It's got stripes on one side and polka dots on the other, so I don't have to worry about that. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to score the entire sheet. Let me move that up just a little bit. You're gonna score it two times. You're gonna score it into thirds. So you're gonna score it four inches and then technically you're gonna score at, well, we'll just do it, at eight inches, which is another four inches. So I don't always like to flip out this little arm because I'm kind of lazy. So you can score it at four and then you can turn it around and score it four again and it ends up getting you to the same spot. So now we've got score line here and the score line here all the way. So now what you're gonna do with those score lines vertical, here, let's go this side. I feel like those stripes are whew, loud. Um, here's our score lines. So we're gonna just turn it. You can turn it to the right or to the left and you're gonna cut this in half at six inches. Like that. All right, and that is all you have to do to make this album. It's so easy. All right, so what we're going to do is we're basically gonna fold on all these score lines in both directions so that we get some really nice, crisp score lines. Okay, so I'm just gonna turn it the other way and score that way as well. I'm gonna do that for both of these panels. I am curious to know, leave me a comment. <laughs> I feel like I am completely unprepared for this month, which 
apparently after looking at the calendar this morning, it's December 3rd today. Uh, there's three weeks until Christmas. So, um, I'm just readjusting my, uh, <laughs> I'm readjusting my brain to, uh, thinking about what I still needs to get done and what's important. Right. Um, but I definitely love this project, even though we're like, this is kind of a time crunch right now because there's always those certain people that maybe you don't get to see um, and or maybe you do get to see and they're very special. And so you want to just kind of create something just a little bit special, more special for them. And this little album is a great way to, um, you know, make kind of a card, but then you add pictures and extra notes and love inside. And it's just a really great way to give kind of a, a card that is a gift. You can also put a gift card in here. So um, I'm gonna show you that. All right, so we've got our two panels. They're six by 12, scored at four inches and eight inches. And now we're gonna attach them together. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna, we're gonna attach these two together. And we're gonna do it so that we leave this edge right here open so that we can insert, uh, make it into a pocket. So I'm going to just put adhesive on three sides, the top, the bottom, and then the fold. And I'm gonna leave this edge over here without any adhesive, this one here, so that it's gonna make a pocket, okay? So we're gonna just put this right on top of here, like that. So now those are together. I'm just gonna make sure they're even. I suppose I should have said, really, you need to think about which um, side of the paper you want to be the inside of your card and which side you want to be the outside of the, the album card. So I'm making the red the inside and the stripes on the outside. All right, so now we've got a pocket here. And I'm gonna bring in a punch so that I can just make a little um, place to grab that insert that I'm gonna put in there. Like that, so the pocket's gonna open and there's gonna be a little insert in there. You can use any kind of punch that has just a little kind of design. A circle punch works great. Um, Okay, so there's our pocket on the inside. Now these two are basically gonna go in this way and create, this one's gonna be a little like trifold feature and this one's gonna create another pocket. So this, let's work on this panel here first. We're gonna fold this back and you don't need to measure. You can just pick a nice little angle and this is gonna be a top loading pocket. This is like the side loading pocket, okay? So let's adhere this to here. So we're gonna put adhesive like that. Sure looks like that Facebook feed is not being very kind. Are you guys having trouble? I'm sorry if you're having trouble. Hey Kay, hi Wanda, hey Nydia. All right, let's Close that. Hi, Pat. What is everybody up to today? What is on your list? What do you have to still get done? All right, see how we made that pocket? So we just folded this one in. Readjust like that. All right, so now we've got this little flap. We're just gonna put a little adhesive in the corner and tag, you know, press that down. So this flap will stay closed and we've got a top loading pocket and a side loading pocket. And then this is going to fold in. This is going to be where you can add your pictures in here. I want to be able to make sure the person who's getting this knows to open this. So I'm going to add another little place to grab, like a little finger grab down here so that that person can see that there's a little place to open. Okay, so this is your basic um, 
album uh what am i trying to say this is your like this is just the basic design of the album so now that we've got this let's go ahead and decorate it so the paper that i'm using to make this album is from the heartwarming hugs designer series paper beautiful right this was actually a new paper in last year's um, July to December mini catalog and it came back and I wanted to show you how this paper coordinates with the gingerbread and peppermints paper so this is current in this current mini catalog right let's pull out where did my mini catalog go there we go all right so sorry here we go gingerbread and peppermint the six by six paper this is great great paper why i'm showing you this is because these two packs of paper really coordinate really really well together they have a lot of the same colors and the colors that are um, different still coordinate together so the main colors on these two packs of paper are real red and then we've got old olive in the gingerbread and peppermints and then we've got pear pizzazz in the heartwarming hugs you see how how beautiful those go together but they also kind of stand alone you can use either one and then this one brings in mossy meadow and then of course we've got the cinnamon cider all right which i feel like is completely optional it looks great with this paper but if you just need a few colors to for your christmas you know kind of card making and you like that kind of classic red and green you can do so much with these four colors right here or you can even you know take out this one take out the pear pizzazz or take out the mossy meadow and you've just you can do a lot with those colors real red and old olive are just classic and beautiful and of course my cinnamon cider you know how i feel about that i love my cinnamon cider so you can add that in you've got so many options with just these two packs of paper and these three to four colors of cardstock and of course if you've got crumb cake crumb cake goes with everything this is such a classic christmas i mean crumb cake's good every day <laughs> i love crumb cake cardstock but for a Christmas card, you just kind of get that kind of like um, old fashioned crafty kind of, especially when you pair it with red and green, it's always very pleasing. Okay, so gingerbread and peppermints paper is in the current mini catalog. So this paper is retiring. So this is the last month you can get that. Heartwarming hugs, however. Um, nope, I'm not, sorry. I am, I was gonna say it was in the main catalog, but it's not, it's also retiring. So these are both retiring colors. Um, and sorry, I'm getting all flustered. These are both retiring pattern papers, but I think you can do a lot with them. So I'm making this album using both of these papers. And I just wanted to show you that I'm just pulling in these three pieces from the gingerbread and peppermint and i went ahead and cut out all these pieces ahead of time so i took this strip here and then i cut out some of these little images one tree and one snowflake and one ornament And then I just cut out some of these peppermints and that's really all I'm going to use. I'm just keeping it very, very simple and basic to decorate this album. Oh, you guys are so busy making cards, making Christmas cards. Yes. Working on Christmas gifts. Yay. You guys are really, you guys are ahead of me. I, I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, if I haven't already made a Christmas card on one of my play dates, I 
don't have any other Christmas cards made. So this is my weekend to um, get those done. And I will, I promise. But I always, for some reason, it's very Christmassy to me to let, wait till the last minute, maybe. I don't know. Okay, we're going to decorate this now. So let me just bring this in here so you can see. Here's the dimensions again. All right, so we used two six by 12 panels. We scored it four and eight. So these are the pieces that fill the pockets and are mats for our pictures. So two pieces, three and a fourth by one, four and a fourth. These go here for our pictures. So I'm just gonna add that. And these are perfectly sized for printing pictures that are three inches by four inches. So if you print from your computer, you can fit two three by four pictures on like one four by six size. So that works out if you have a little, um, a little printer or even if you use some kind of um, app to print your pictures out at, in Walgreens or whatever, you can, um, you can put two three by fours next to each other on a four by six. It's pretty, pretty easy to do. Okay, so that's where our pictures are going to go. And then we need two pieces that'll fill the pockets. And these are three and a half by four and a fourth. And I picked one white and one red. So I'm gonna put the red one in the side pocket. And then I'm gonna put the white one in the top loading pocket. So I'm gonna take this little strip that I cut off of the one of the designer series papers and I am going to just put it on top. And it'll just kind of sit outside of and peek outside of the pocket. Like that. Now, if you don't um, like liquid glue and you want to close the edges of your pockets with tear tape, you can totally do that as well. Just know that your margins where the, where the glue is might be a little bit larger. Um, so you might have to just trim down these little pocket pieces a little bit. All right, so we've got our red insert here. We've got the white one here and we've got those in there. So really now we're just going to decorate it. So I'm going to bring in the stamp set that coordinates with with this um, gingerbread and peppermints and then we'll bring in some of these pieces. So I'm going to stamp something for the front. Well, let's do this first. <clears throat> So we've got a greeting in here that says, you're the icing to my gingerbread. And then we have one that says, sending you peppermint kisses. Oh, that was terrible. Hold on, I need to do that again. I'm gonna punch this one out. Oh my goodness, I think I have fuzz on my stamp. Hold on, it's picking up. It's picking up ink where I don't want it. So let's try this one more time. There we go. And I'm gonna make this a tag. All 
All right, you guys, you know how I work with my play dates, right? I, I make a lot of um, examples because I'm always trying to just kind of like really show that the pattern or design works, right? So just give me a guess, like how many albums do you think I have to show you? <laughs> let's play a little game, all right? Uh, okay, so let's decorate these. I'm just going to add a little greeting here. Yeah, leave me a comment. How many albums do you think I have to show you after I show you this one? We'll put a couple little peppermints here. Like that, and then we'll decorate the inside. Hi, Diane. Diane says six. Carol says 10. Oh, Carol, you have a lot of faith in me. All right, so we'll just put a couple peppermints here just to accent on this side. And then I'm gonna take the Christmas tree One dozen, says Liz. So the number, Margie, I'm just being silly, but you know how I like to make all the extra samples of whatever the pattern is. Uh, I'm just I'm just asking you to guess how many do you think I have to show you after this one? And then we'll put this little greeting right here. So again, this little album, like it's, it's fun because it's not like there's a lot of pictures that are gonna go in here, just like basically two you could put two more here or you could put um the gift card in here or you could just put uh, something else in there and then you've got a place to write your message over here you could put a little picture here you could decorate that as well i'm keeping it very very simple because um i just kind of want you to get the main idea of it okay obviously you can glitz and glam this up a whole bunch and 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 keep adding you've got this space right here right all right so here's basically the album that's ready to go and ready to mail so i've put together a, a front for this but i want to show you the finished one first okay so here's how i finished this one as is Okay, just like we just did. But I wanna show you that this size album fits inside um, the Memories and More cards, all right? So this suite of products has these large cards that come in a set of 20 for $10, and you get the card and you get the envelope to go with it. And they're designed to coordinate with the memories and more um, pocket cards, okay? So you've got, this is the gingerbread and peppermints um, pocket cards, right? So you can, these cards are slightly bigger and they're designed to just like plop something on top and, you know, decorate. You could layer, you know, it's meant to be super easy obviously you can use these for pocket um pocket album scrapbooking look at these cute little trays anyway these are adorable they're lovely so i just wanted to show you how you can fit this album inside here because if you wanted to make it a little more sturdy and maybe a little bit more mailable um and you wanted it to last a little bit longer you could very simply just pop it into one of these cards or you could create your own cardstock cover all right again this is going to increase the you know dimension of this the width of it so or the thickness it might require extra postage this is pretty thin you can get by with mailing this with just one stamp so but if you want to insert it 
So that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna just glue around the front cover. Let me make sure, okay. <laughs> and we're gonna stick it right in the score line crease and then we'll close it on the front. And then we'll just go to the back side and we'll add our adhesive back there too and close that up. So now we've got it kind of protected like that. And you still, and you've got your nice little opening. All right, so I'm gonna stamp a greeting for the front. And this one says, wishing you a Merry Christmas. And we'll add this to the front and call it done. And then I'm gonna show you those samples. So you're gonna to have to start counting. Okay, we're gonna use our pretty ornament here. Let's see, how do we want this? I think I want this one here. Want that one there. Now just try to think about the paper that you have um, in your stash. Think about um, think about Valentine's Day coming up or um, a birthday um, album. This doesn't have to be for Christmas, right? This could be for any time. So let's just add some embellishments. Just gonna glitz it up a little bit with our rhinestones. Cute. Okay, so now you can fit this inside this cute little craft envelope and it's just even a little bit extra special. I would definitely put two stamps on here or have it weighed um, at the post office if you were gonna mail this because don't forget you still have to put two little pictures in there so it's gonna be a little bit thicker. What do you guys think? Is this cute? It's, it's so easy to put together and uses up one whole sheet. It's so lovely. So here is it with without being inside a card and then here it is um, inside one of the memories and more cards. Now you might be saying like well how do I mail this one? Because this size of this is finished is four by six. So you can do a couple things. So Stampin' Up! sells plain white memories and more cards. And you not only get the large size card like this, um, but you get the envelopes as well. And then you also get smaller cards. So these little tiny little cards here are meant to go also with the um, Memories and More cards and they're sized to just plop a three by four on there, okay? So you can also, like at the office supply store, you can just get um, envelopes that are four by six size if you wanted to make a bunch of these. Right, so let me just compare for a second. Here's our regular size envelope. This is the basic invitation size. This is the memories in more um, size. They're the about almost the same um, width and then the memories in more is a little bit longer. Okay, so this is four and a half, this is four and three eighths. And of course, the invitation size card is what we usually make. That's half a sheet of cardstock. That's what goes in these medium envelopes is what they're called. It's basically just your basic A2 um, invitation size card. The Memories and More cards from Stampin' Up! are almost like an A6 size. An A6 size is really 
um, four and three fourths by six and a half, and Stampin' Ups is four and a half by six and a half because again they were designed to work with the the memories and more pocket cards. Does that make sense? And then you can get just kind of like an office store size card. Um, I'm sorry, envelope that is four and a half by six and a fourth. This is really meant for mailing photos. It's called a photo envelope. So it's meant perfectly for four by six size. And so that will, that will fit this inside. Just to give you some ideas of what you can do with something if you wanna make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so we've got those two. So here is the, our other current um, memories and more little great cards and envelopes. And so I created one with this. I have not decorated it yet. You're gonna have to use your imagination, but how cute is this? Love it, love it, love it. So that one I will have to decorate. And then I wanted to just give you a comparison here. So this one I wanted to use the gingerbread paper. And so instead of creating my album out of um, designer series paper, I used basic white 12 by 12 cardstock. So instead of creating this base out of designer series paper, I made a base out of basic white and then I put four by six panels on it um, to decorate it. Now this one is much, much thicker than all the rest of them, so it would be difficult to mail. Um, but I wanted you to see how that turned out. And of course, instead of just cutting plain paper, you can use something special. Use one of your dies and create something super cute. Now how fun would this be to stick a little recipe card in here for somebody at Christmas time. We've got a little tag. I love this idea. Okay, so those are with made with the memory and more. And then I wanted to make some more that were just this size because I, I love this size. And so again, so I made a bunch just to try out the papers, right? I don't have them all decorated, but here is one with this sweet symmetry paper. You can use designer series paper to mount your photos on. That would work as well. Super cute. And here's the beauty of the earth paper. I, I love this piece for, for winter. I think it's just so pretty. Again, I used the um, pattern paper for my photo mats just to keep it nice and thin. And then here's one with um, the last celebration catalog that was in August and September. This gorgeous paper makes a super cute one. Ah, look how pretty that is. So this one's ready to go. I just need to put some pictures on there. And here's another one with the beauty of the season. Now, the, all I did for there here is I just put a strip of paper over the end to kind of like give it a little binding. So this is like, um, this is a, almost two inches. It's probably one and three fourths inches. And then this is one inch here. So you can see the different size of the bindings. Um, so this one I did decorate with those cute little trees. I cannot wait to put pictures on this one. Just add more little notes. So cute, so fun. I love pockets. And then I made um, this one out of the Eden's Garden Suite of products. And this one's also ready, ready to go. Look how pretty. So I made the dies, used this fun little punch for the little pull, finger pull. Stamped on my designer series paper here to make it a little bit extra.
You guys have a favorite one? Okay, so these are all four by six. Where are we at? One, two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven so far, but I wanted to show you because you might not want to make this size. And the great thing about this pattern is you don't have to make it exactly this size. So if you want to change it and you want to make it the size that fits our regular invitation size envelope, so you can see the difference here, it's, it's going to be shorter. No problem. You just adapt the the width of your um, initial piece. So instead of doing six by 12, you're going to do five and a half or five and a fourth by 12. And that depends on whether you want to insert it into a card or if you want to just make the um, album without that extra piece. So here's one I did with the Christmas season um, stamp set. And so mine is five and a fourth, but everything else stays exactly the same pretty much. You still score it at four inches. Isn't that pretty? I love it, I love it. These little pieces you just shorten by a quarter of an inch since you shortened your, um, you shortened your, you know, entirety of your card. You, you wanna shorten that as well. So this pattern has so much flexibility. You can just, you can see the size is a little bit, little bit different, but you, it's basically the same, same pattern. You just cut your um, pattern paper a little bit um, less wide. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not including these, so I have got eight more, eight more for you. All right, do you have enough to let me show you one more thing? Do you have it in you? That's what I'm asking. Do you have it in you? Because I'm going to show you one more thing. Okay, so I took, I was telling you about these memories and more cars and how they've come in two sizes. So we've got the larger card and then we've got the smaller card size. So here's the smaller cards and envelopes, okay? So I thought we could take this idea and very, very easily turn it into a little gift card holder. Now this size card is not mailable. It's not any particular size. Here's the dimensions. It's just the memories and more small card and envelope. And um, it's too small to go in the mail. So this is a great use of this size card to just throw into um, a gift bag or to, you know, tuck inside a gift to put in a stocking, anything like that. Oh, Liz, great. Liz is ready. Awesome. All right. So I thought this would be great to make into a gift card holder. So let me bring back my heartwarming hugs. Okay. So what I did instead Instead of this being six by 12, I just shortened this to four by 12, okay? And I've got two. And instead of scoring at four, you're going to score at three inches. So instead of turning it into thirds, you're gonna turn it into fourths. And so that means I'm gonna score it. Let's move that cutting blade. going to score it at three inches, six inches, and nine inches. Like that. And you're going to do the same thing for both of them. Three, six, and nine inches are the score lines. Now this gives you a couple extra panels. So you get to kind of decide how you want to use those extra panels. I'll just kind of show you how this is gonna to go together. Like that. So the middle two can still make that side pocket. And then you fold that one back to make 
that, right? And then you've got kind of an extra little trifold. So this one's kind of cute. Let me show you one that's made, all right? And then I'm gonna show you just a very simple version of this. So I made one with um, the Eden's Garden, and this is the one with the two sheets of four by 12. And so you've kind of got a little extra pocket here, a little extra space to write. This size right here is perfect for a gift card. You've got a tiny little pocket here. And then you've got a lot of extra space. So this is this is also sized very well for three by four photos. You can put one, two, three, and then tuck in three more. You've basically got three, four, five, seven spots to put photos. This could be another gift card. Okay, so I wanted you to kind of see how you could put that together with two of them. What I'm gonna show you is a smaller version just using one that's very simple. Let's say you don't wanna do all the pictures. You just wanna make a gift card holder. Perfect, so let's take one of these little cards. And then we're gonna create our pockets. Pocket here. So this will only have one pocket and it's gonna to fold together. So basically the difference is if you just use half is that you're gonna have one pocket and then this little kind of like, it's just gonna basically be a trifold. Okay, so let's glue the pocket and then I'll show you what it looks like inside the card. So we'll close that and we'll put a little adhesive in that corner to hold that down. I kind of like how the um, how the if you just fold or uh, adhere this right where that point is, then you kind of get just it kind of looks like um, you can see the space right there, and I think that looks really cool. So that's why I just put adhesive in the on the point, and then here we've got space to put a, our greeting. Let me bring this in here. Here's the dimensions for the small one. So this is the piece right here that I'm putting on the inside. This will be where you can write and do a little stamping if you want, and you can put one picture on there if you want, or you can put another piece of paper there. So let's put it inside our card. like that. Are you thinking of some ideas of how you can do this? This one's super quick, right? Super quick. Even if you don't have this card, you can just make this little mini album, right? You can just make the little, here, let's do it this way. You can make the little thing like this. Put some cardstock around it. It's just a nice little gift card holder. Um, you don't have to have the envelope. You can just tuck it in your stuff. All right, let me show you the finished one because you know how to decorate, right? So I, since it's a cute little um, something you're gonna tuck in, you can definitely decorate the envelope. So I used the Snowman Season and the snowman punch to finish this one. I don't remember the name of this stamp set. And I thought I had it, oh, it's right here. <laughs> Encircled in warmth, I used this, this piece right here. Because I knew I wanted to do my snowman and I always like, you know, that kind of warm, cold kind of contrast when you have um, snowmen. So here is the inside with our cute little snowman. I did have a gift card around here. I was going to show you how it fits inside so perfectly. Okay, 
here let me just show you here so there's where you can tuck your little gift card if you want and then you've got this cute little cute little thing to give somebody all right that's the small version what do you guys think let me show you one more here's the other small version with Eden's Garden all right so you can do a double or you can do a single so many ways so many ways to adapt this project I hope your brain just exploded in a good way in a good way the kind that gives you something fun to think about okay all right the directions for these projects of course will be on my blog so you can find them there and i hope that you will give these a try let's do a final count here and see who was the closest all right so we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven 11 other samples to show. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you, Jackie. Oh, you guys are coming up with some good ideas of how you could use these. Wonderful. I so appreciate you playing along, uh, watching, and I encourage you to go grab a piece of 12 by 12. In fact, this is what I do first, and it's probably good advice. <laughs> Grab a piece of 12 by 12 that is um, just something you've been hanging on to for a long time and um, make it your template, okay? So I have just a plain white template that I created out of basic white card cardstock the first time I made this, and I just keep it. And that way I can label, I can write on it, I can show where I want to put the adhesive. I can write all the dimensions on it and then just keep it in my so I have I have like two panels like this and it just reminds me how these go together where the tape goes and all that good stuff and then I have one that's kind of put together so um, when you go to make this make yourself a template first and then um, keep it with your directions that you download and then you'll have that ready to go the next time you want to pull out this project and it won't be like you're completely starting over trying to remember how it works. So please leave me another comment. You guys are so great. Um, which one was your favorite? And um, I just appreciate you all so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.